do you really use your iPhone? Let's find out by looking at screen time reports on iPhone. To get to screen time, we're gonna open the settings app, scroll down to screen time, and immediately there's a report right up top, probably the only one you've ever looked at. And it just says, what is all the activity I've been doing this week? When we click on see all app and website data, it's gonna show us today and the week. My total screen time for the week on this phone is nine hours and four minutes, and my daily average is an hour and a half. You can see there's a breakdown by type. Productivity and finance, health and fitness, and creativity. And then a bunch of gray stuff that's, you know, other. It'll show you what limits you have, and you can look at them by app or show the categories. You cannot decide what the categories are. Under productivity and finance, it's gonna be lots of productivity apps. Well, shortcuts, mostly. If you decide right on this screen that you wanna add a limit, you can, which is really handy. So you don't have to go back to the menu, to the app limits. Ugh. But in general, I find the individual apps more useful. And that's the obvious metric. It's the one that it'll try to show you in a widget. But if you scroll down past it, there's some other interesting things. Daily average pickups. That's how often do you pick up and unlock your phone? This is interesting because many of us use our phones more out of habit than out of intention. And this can help you realize, okay, how often do I pick something up and what do I do when I first pick it up? It says on these days, how many average pickups do I have? Like how many times am I picking up this phone? And then what's the first app that I use? What you might find more enlightening is if you realize, oh, when I first pick up, I'm opening TikTok, I'm opening Instagram. It might make you realize that you have a stronger habit tied into those apps than you realize. If if you find that you're spending most of your time in those other more distracting apps, but you started off with a different app, it might be worth looking at what is it in that app that maybe you started to use and then drifted off. And then the notifications, not my carry phone. This is gonna let you know what notifications you're getting from what apps. You may start to notice a pattern. Is it the one you're getting notifications from the most that you also have the most pickups for? If that's something you're noticing, you may start thinking, oh, is that the behavior I want? Maybe those notifications are not leading me to spend time on my phone the way that I would prefer. What's bringing me back to my phone the most frequently? especially if you have a goal of spending less time on your phone. Another interesting thing when you scroll down is you can see this week, but you can also look at previous weeks. Now, occasionally when you update your operating system, you will lose the previous data or when you change to a new phone. But as long as those things aren't the case, you can look back further weeks. What was I using the phone for at these different times? I don't know what the actual limits are, but this one's only letting me go back to May. You can also swipe between the weeks right here. And that's how you can use the screen time reports on iPhone to get a better feeling for how you're actually using your phone. Did you look at your reports? What did you find? Was it anything shocking and horrible or were you doing better than you thought? Let me know in the comments. My real phone is not gonna look this ideal. It's not gonna be like, oh, I always picked up my phone to look at something productive.